Hello, today we'll be looking at Winfor K4 Suite for the Elecraft K4, used remotely with a new breed of computers called the handheld gaming PCs. In particular, this one is the Lenovo Legion Go. The same capabilities will be available shortly for the ICOM videos supported by Winfor ICOM. Now, as you can see in this picture, this is basically everything we need uh, to go remotely with uh, this computer. Uh, we have a Bluetooth headset here. I'm going to just take it out of the way for the moment. And I'm going to open up the Legion box here. And here we go. This is the whole baby. Uh, there's a lot of reflections here, at least until everything is, is set up. I will now turn it on. Move that out of the way. It's got a nice stand in the back which we can use and adjust this to be good. There's no reflections, great. Okay, what makes these computers attractive as a remote device is they have very decent CPU power. Uh, they're small, they're light, and they have built in Xbox controllers that can be programmed for other purposes than games. This with the Bluetooth capabilities for the headset and a full USB connections makes this usable for voice, digital, and CW communications using a keyboard and a win key, or a win key. Of course, there are also full-blown Windows 11 PCs. So here's the full setup. It's not much larger than the old Elecraft uh, KX3, and it's quite ergonomics. And if you want, you can use it uh, with a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse. So here's a small demo. We're going to start off. Um, everything that I'm going to do on here applies to any PC, not just the little ones, although most of the functionality of the Xbox controllers are, are really tailored to a device this small. Okay, so I'm going to just temporarily just go and start the application. Okay, so here's a small demo. I'm started up the software, Win for K4 Suite. And the first thing that's going to come up is all of the windows that were in use from the last time you used the software. So it's going to be a little bit cluttered. Okay, so the very first thing you want to do is you want to press the A button. When you press the A button, it brings up the control screen and only the control screen. No matter what you else, whatever else windows are on there, it will bring up the A, uh, the control screen. The B button will bring up the spectrum. Now you'll notice I'm using the AM broadcast band here, mainly because uh, there's not very much on the air with all of the uh, sunspots that we've had lately. Okay, the Y button will bring up receiver B. Okay, um, and you can easily switch between them as you can see here, and back to the control screen. Okay, uh, the X button will bring up the club log spots. Okay, so, uh, you can, for example, pick any given uh, spot, click on it, and, and you will get the tuning to that frequency, as you can see here, 50 megahertz. Okay, finally, the next screen that comes up here is the terminal. If I click on, on this, this will bring up the terminal screen. Okay, when the terminal's there. You can pull up the keyboard by just pulling up on here. Whoops. You just pull up on here, there, and pick the keyboard. Whoops, keyboard. There it is. And then you can just type in C Q C Q, etc. etc. Uh, I don't know why I didn't pick it up at the moment, but uh, sorry, C. I mean, I'm not focused on the right thing here. There we go. CQ, space, CQ, space, etc. Okay. Uh, you can also use a um, win key with this and a paddle. Um, that is uh, demonstrated in the manual. Um, it's not perfect, but it does work remotely. And if you want to use a paddle, currently it's pretty well the only way that you can do it. Okay. The D-pad, which is over here, those controls will allow you to select uh, some of the different modes. For example, if I click on there, um, oops, 
uh, select USB, click down here, it'll be LSB. Click to the left, it'll be CW. Click to the right, it'll be data. It doesn't get all of them, but at any time you can go ahead and press whatever you want because it is a touchscreen uh, device. So you can still pick what you need by pressing on the screen. I'll put it back to USB and I'm gonna pick, go back to, uh, let's go back to 160 because there's not much else on the air at the moment. Okay. Uh, another thing that can be done here is with the uh, left joystick, I can move it to select a particular digit for tuning. The up and down will actually do the tuning. can go over and we can just pick, pick the digits we want. And away we go. Um, okay, so it's very useful. And if you look on the spectrum, um, you can see that moving as well as it moves along. Okay. Now, a couple of words about the spectrum. Um, if you want to zoom in, uh, you have to press the zoom button, but it's exactly the same as when you're using the mouse. We can press that. Uh, I'm going to turn off the peaks. I don't want, whoops. Well, fill. Whoops, I keep hitting the, the help button. There we go. All right. Um, yeah, so if you want to go into zoom mode, you have to press the zoom, and then you can go ahead and draw a box on the screen with the mouse, for example, like that, and that will zoom in, okay? However, to actually select a signal is much better to go into the pan, because if you stay in the zoom mode, what's going to happen is that um, it's going to actually do a zoom. See, if I try to double click this, it's actually tried to do a zoom, which is not what I want. Okay, so I'll just press reset here okay um, it's much better to, to stay in the pan mode and then you can just double click and you will then select the signal okay um, well that's almost about it and the other thing is is that we do have the joystick on this side and this joystick will now adjust the volume okay it will do just the volume of the default audio device so if you set up your headset to be the default audio device, then this will, will adjust the volume. So that's basically it, okay? It's a new device, a new computer that's uh, useful for general computing. Um, you can hook it up to your TV with a wireless display, uh, get yourself a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse and use this as you go away on a trip somewhere and use it to make QSOs with your Elecraft K4. Please note that everything that I show here also will apply to the ICOM radios and that will be released shortly. Thanks for watching.